Hello my bookish lovelies, Kira here, and today I'm going to be doing some unboxings for you. I ended up getting both boxes at the same time, so I figured I would just go ahead and do everything on camera. I know what's in the book of the month box subscription, but I have no idea what's in the Illumicrate subscription. I know that you guys mainly come here for the Illumicrate, so I'm going to go ahead and do that first, and if you guys want to stick around afterwards to see what I got from book of the month, be my guest. So let's go ahead and open up this bad boy. Okay, so we have the first thing. It is When Worlds Collide, March 2020. I always love these boxes because, like, I have no idea what's in here. So I'm very, very excited to see what's in here. All right, so the first thing I have in here looks like it is a mug. It's called Burning Crowns. Oh, it's designed by Rosie Thorns 88 I love her artwork so much. Let's see what the mug has on it. I am really quite clueless on what this is, but the artwork is once again gorgeous. I do adore the artwork from Rosie Thorne 88. I've never had a bad experience with that. So the Burning Crowns mug featuring our favorite Fire Queen and her Fae Prince practicing their magic. You know, it doesn't really tell me anything about the fandom. Fire Queen, I'm thinking maybe it's throne of glass because they usually refer to her as the fire queen i believe but i'm not sure Ooh, the next thing we have in here is actually from alice in wonderland it says drink me this is the potion like that alice drank in order to either get bigger or get smaller and i love the detailing on this we got the clock we have the rose from the red queen and then we have the little bottle from drink me and of course this is probably the uh, watch that the white rabbit was wearing when he said i'm late i'm late for a very important date this is so cool i love this the next thing we have is this little box Ooh, and it's got it looks kind of like a cat on a light bulb hat on a light bulb is it just me Could be an air balloon too. What is this? Dark Materials Necklace. Okay, I was actually right, um, but I didn't know the fandom. So this beautifully simple necklace represents two elements we love from the book series. And to mine, which is um, Laura's demon, and then Lee Scoresby's balloon. So my second guess was right. I got it right. Okay, that's awesome. Ooh, the next thing we have is a candle. Ooh, that is super minty. Library Books and Monster Dreams. It's a soy candle. It's the front. It smells very outdoorsy. Like, I don't know. I wonder if it says, because like usually they give some sort of description about like what exactly is in this in like somewhere on the packaging. We didn't have this, we didn't have that this time. So, okay, so it's from Strange the Dreamer. Make your dreams come true with this gorgeous candle inspired by Strange the Dreamer. They don't say specifically like what they've threw in there, but it does smell very outdoorsy, which if you think about Strange the Dreamer, I guess it's supposed to be like more soothing because like, you know, he operated more in dreams. I also got this foil print, I had to look it up too. This is City of Brass, this is very pretty. I love this. And it's not all foiled, it's just foiled around the edges. And then you have these two characters, which I have yet to read this series. I'm still not sure. I know a little bit about the series. I don't know enough to say anything about this, but this is all I can say is that this is a very, very beautiful print. All right, what else do we have in here? Ooh, we have the coin. I'm trying to place this guy. I'm not really sure. This is going to be another one that I look up. Oh, there we go. Finally got it focused. It's, it's either the Cruel Prince. I'm thinking it's, I'm thinking it's from the Cruel Prince, only because we have already had the Darkling. I have no other other guesses besides that. Also, if I'm wrong, leave a comment down in the description below um, whether or not I was right about that. If you guys know, because that's what I, that's my guess. That's it. That's my guess. Oh, I got two this month. Okay, maybe maybe this is thrown a glass. Also, maybe because. No? God, I'm so lost. This, could, this still could be the Wicked King series. Okay, so we have, we now have both of these matching sets. 
I do always love the collectible coins like though. They're little magnets. I've been sticking them on my fridge. So I love these. So I think that's everything but the book. Oh my god. I just saw sprayed edges. <sighs> sprayed edges always make me so happy. All right. You guys get to be surprised before I am this time. I'm not gonna look. There's something in here. We have, they kind of put the author's note inside the book like this time because the book is a lot smaller, but we have turquoise sprayed edges, guys, and I am thriving right now because we all know how I feel about the sprayed edges. And then we have the author's note. I love the cover for this. Like, I've always loved the cover for this. I almost, almost got it last month from Book of the Month, like when they were still doing YA, which that's another thing too. I noticed like that Book of the Month no longer has YA listed. I... If you guys also know, I'm looking for like a lot of information tonight. Are they not doing YA at all anymore? Or like, is this just a month like that's their off month because they're combining the two? Off topic. But anyway, I'm very, very excited. So, ooh, it came with a book plate. Let's see what the outside looks like. So the outside is just plain blue. Like there's nothing really unique about the outside. Oh, wow. This has actually got to be like an exclusive edition because it actually comes with a cloth bookmark in here. Oh. Well, I thought it was a cloth bookmark. I wonder if it was supposed to be attached. Because it's not attached. It's just, it was just in there. Now I'm confused. Well, I thought I had a cloth bookmark. I guess I was fooled. A little book plate with a signature. Maddie Morrow knows that Havenfall is more than it seems. Beneath the beautiful sprawling inn lie the hidden gateway to three ancient realms. Bryn, Fortikill, and Solaria. Maddie's destiny is here, rooted in her family's promise to protect the fragile alliance between the worlds. But when a brutal murder shatters the peace and, and someone she loves stands accused, Maddie must step forward to protect the place and the people she cares for most. Her safe haven will never be the same again. Ooh. Hence the name Haven Fall. Fall of a safe haven. So yes, I'm very excited. I was actually looking at this one, so... We'll see how, we'll see how, how I, how I actually feel about it. So that's everything for the Illumicrate. I'm going to be moving on to the book of the month. If you guys are curious to know what I picked up there, there are some stuff in that box like that I got really excited about because it just sounded so fantastic. So I'm just, you know, all about that. All right. So the next thing, and I'm going to have to open this up and take out the plastic packaging because they actually wrap everything in this nice plastic. There's one book in particular, like I'm excited for all of them, but there's like one book in particular like that I have been dying to read because literally everyone is excited about it. So the first book that I have is The Library of Legends by Jani Chang. This particular book really caught me because it was an Asian inspired book. I believe it was written, yeah, during China 1937. And I believe it's during the war. And I believe like there's this magic library that they're trying to protect. And who doesn't love a magic library? Like it just sounded freaking fantastic. So The Library of Legends, a novel by Jani Chang. That was the first one. The one I was most excited for was Beach Read by Emily Henry. This particular book is all about these, it's like, it's a romance book. Everybody who's read it has absolutely loved it. This has actually ended up on a lot of people's book of favorite, some of the favorite books of the year already. And that's like one of the reasons like why I was so pumped like to actually have this in my hands. So there's these two writers and there's a lot of angst like with this romance and I'm just, I'm so excited for this. Um, it just, it's, I think it's going to be really, really great because like they're polar opposites and I guess in this book, opposites attract. All right. And the last book that I got is The Paris Hours by Alex George. This is actually out of all three of these, like I actually don't remember this one, but I know this was an early release and I was really excited for this too. Let's see. So it's set in glittering Paris, Paris in 1927. Josephine Baker dances with Ernest Hemingway, Maurice Ravel plays a lonely piano, and Gertrude Stein hosts her legendary saloons. Yet alongside these creative geniuses, a quartet of ordinary men and women are forging their own extraordinary stories. Since the death of her beloved employer, housemaid Camille has lived with a secret. When Marcel Proust asked her to burn this, his notebooks, she saved one for herself. Now it has disappeared and she is desperate to recover it before her betrayal is revealed. Across town, love-struck painter Glamo is also racing against the clock with only a few more hours to repay a debt that threatens to bury him alive. Soren, an Armenian refugee seeking connection in a city that has never felt like home, performs puppet shows for children where Soren re relentlessly relives his tragic past. 
journalist Gene Paul is unable to confront his own searching for his missing daughter in every stranger's face. As the hours tick towards midnight, the City of Light pulls these four characters ever closer until their paths collide in an unforgettable climax. Symphonic and profound, the Paris Hour shows us that even the forgotten residents of Paris are as dazzling as the glorious city they inhabit. That just sounded wonderful. It's not, a, I mean, it wasn't a long book, not, not even 300 pages. It's just, it's like 250 pages. So it's really, really short, but it sounded like it was going to be a really fun thing. And the last book that I read in Paris, I'm trying to remember what it is. I'll probably put it down at the bottom. But the last book I actually read about Paris, I actually really enjoyed like the culture and the immersion like that I got from it. So I'm hoping like that I've experienced like the same level of historic Paris and the immersion like that I got from that one in this book. Well guys, that is it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys like this, hit the little like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell icon if you guys want to receive emails every single time I post. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, Amazon, and Goodreads. Those links are linked in the description below. And I will see you guys again very soon.